Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and let's chat about the eyes are the best part. I will give this book no introduction because I feel like the title and the cover of the book will already let you know what it's going to be about. Also, have any of you also experienced when you were younger, your parents like trying to force you to eat things and so um, fish eyes is one of them and then saying like oh you know if you eat the eyes it'll make you see better or if you eat the liver it'll make your liver better. I definitely have experienced that but for me texture wise I'm very picky when it comes to certain things so like um yeah so fish eyes are one of them, cartilage, tendon, not really like my favorite things to eat in a dish but anyways um also I love when books like put their language in the book in the dialogue because I think it adds to the authenticity of the conversations and really sets the mood of the book too. So um, this book, um, they are Korean characters and so you will have some Korean words in there and so I love that. Um, well, one, some of the words are familiar, especially if you watch a lot of Korean dramas, you'll recognize those words immediately. So love that. Um, they, Arthur, I think, really um, highlights everyone's personality, like bad personality. I think she just left no room and spare no one. You know, no one is innocent in any of, all of the characters are not innocent. She really highlights their like raw, carnal feelings and like their um, thoughts and when they say things, it just kind of like blurts out. So it's kind of like, wow, their raw human nature is like, oh, you know? So definitely had no favorite characters in this book, um, but was very pleased with how there were certain things that definitely surprised me. There are also a lot of things that made me want to yak, or if people don't know what yak is, vomit. Um, I just, it was just definitely unexpected, but it was a good unexpected. Um, so very surprising with that. Um, wanted to comment on some of the characters. So um, here you have Juwan. She's like the main character. And what I especially didn't like about her is she would like have issues with people like stereotyping her but then like she would do the same and stereotype other people. So that was like a thing that I didn't like about her, you know, like um, just try not to be like a hypocrite. It's hard to, but yeah, just try not to. So that was like one of my really pet peeves about the main character there. And then again, all the other characters that were mentioned in the book, like I mentioned before, very raw characters. Um, they're just so messed up and just, um, their true self and she's like uh so that was like my thoughts on them um love that the chapters are short um because you just kind of know like hey this ends you know sometimes I think books um some chapters like they try to like do different plots and storylines within the same chapter and to me that's like not my favorite I like when chapters end on a certain story or whatever topic and then we move on so that's personally my taste um i thought this book was good pacing with um the intensity of certain things and the progression of certain things so i thought that was done really well oh also i wanted to comment on one thing too there's also another character gregory i thought his personality was a little bit too much and i'm not sure if it was done on purpose but just like some of his actions that I was doing is like too much um and kind of like weird because you don't hear a lot from him and then all of a sudden it's like he like expresses this thing which is really weird but again maybe that's like the purpose of the character anyways um i did enjoy this book if you're not like into you know grotesque horror stuff then maybe this isn't for you but uh, I do like this book four stars for me please let me know your thoughts you know did you like this book didn't you like this book who is your favorite character please comment rate share and subscribe happy reading